Stumbled upon upon the May 14th edition of Ass to Ass, also known as Aftershocks to Awful Spots. With you, as always, is your moderator, Jonathan. And included with me is the notorious duo known as Jared and Jed. We just watched Raw. The Raw that the 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 same the same day Raw, the May 14th Raw. I contemplated playing Peggle again. Yeah, it was pretty bad today. I missed the beginning. I missed the very beginning. I was getting some pizza to, I like feed, the... to feed our eager com- opinions and comment- comments on wrestling for this show. I went and got pizza, and I stumbled into John Laurinaitis cutting a 20-minute promo. Well, yeah. first it was Triple H cutting a 20-minute <coughs> oh, promo. Oh, yeah, Triple H, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Triple H was just basically uh, going off about how about Brock Brock Lesnar's uh, a big yeah. whiny pussy, yeah. and then uh, all Paul true. Heyman, all Paul true, Heyman, by the way. Uh, interrupted him after his twenty minutes. Of... As a robot arm. So what do you think? Yeah. How long do you think we have to wait for Triple H Brock? Pay-per-view? SummerSlam. SummerSlam all the way. What's that? June? Is that yeah, the well, next pay per view? Not that far enough. Away yeah, I think it's unbelievable. Probably right. Maybe one. Yeah. Oh. June or July, I it's something like I that. I thought King of the Ring used to be the June. Well, they don't have a King of the Ring pay per view anymore. Yeah. So either way, uh, anything longer than a couple months out is is unbelievable. And I think Summer Sam's either the next pay per view after this one coming up, or it's the one. Well, after that'd be that. the biggest. I mean, that's probably the biggest event they're gonna get out of Brock's return that isn't Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. And if they're gonna do that, it's gonna be at WrestleMania. So, so in, uh, you know, in short, because Undertaker of, doesn't just get up, get up out of bed for SummerSlam. <laughs> and, and, uh, I haven't that, seen him do that in like three years, actually. At that, uh, at that event as well, they, you know, uh, Paul Heyman came out and he read off some uh, information to uh, Triple H regarding the recent incidents that have gone on between Brock Lesnar and Triple H. And, and sh- long story short. He's being sued by Brock Lesnar, and Paul Heyman handed him uh, papers to uh, yeah. appear. They're, they're just, that's the thing. They're going to stretch this story, this angle, yeah. to get, you know, to heal up Triple H. They're going to milk know, you Brock. To, you yeah. Gotta, you got you to gotta kayfabe heal his <laughs> he's arm. He's a dairy queen. His bionic arm. His, he's more of a machine than man now. Yeah, I I'm actually said that Brock Lesnar was a Dairy Queen, and everybody's like, what is a Dairy Queen? I'm like, that's a man that can lactate. I thought it was a gay man. A gay, a gay lactating man. Yeah, a gay lactating man. Yep. Any man that will show you that he can lactate is probably... A... Trending now. <laughs> Trending now. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queens. <laughs> Watch my nipples. Uh, Dennis and Menace is rolling in his grave. <laughs> oh, man, what about what that... Uh, the... Cody Rhodes tagging oh, up with Daniel Bryan. No, we want to have a little. We want to have a little form what and form? structure to our ass to ass broadcast. We have no form, which means we can't let you control where the conversation goes. Because <laughs> the first ha- the first hour of wrestling was us arguing about comic books <laughs> and Avengers and that DC is yeah, sucks. You know what? If you're listening, and to this, Marvel versus DC. If blah, you're, blah, if blah, you're blah. listening to this, chime in on the comments. <laughs> Me and Jed think that Marvel would kick DC's ass, and there's the situation. Out wrestle them. Here's one, two, the three. scenario: you get the top ten, in your opinion, Marvel characters against the top ten DC characters, and who would win that? The problem with this is it's like a uh, good old Attitude Era. Arguments about which would win WCW or WWF. Let's get let's get WWF. on that. WWF. Uh, yeah, clearly it won. <laughs> clearly but they won. But I would if you're say gonna, that... if you're gonna go with which comic book company almost went out of business, then DC would win because Marvel's the one that filed for bankruptcy in the '90s. During the heat of all that, I say Stone Cold would have just kicked everybody's ass, irregardless. No, Stone Cold will turn heel to join the NWO. He wouldn't join the NWO. Yeah, they, don't, would. they don't drink enough. He'd outdrink them. No, he they, respect they, them. They, I don't know. Him and Scott Holm. They would. They drink until there was no table because they yeah. drank it. But Stone Cold <laughs> could drink and drink and drink, and he just kicks more ass. He drank Cerveza Modelo. Yeah, Modelo. All right, okay, okay, Especial. okay. We, We're off on the biggest fucking Avengers the movie <laughs> tangent ever. It was and good. It's great. Go it, it made a billion dollars. Everyone's seen it. I'm sure you've seen it multiple times. It's very entertaining. 
Everyone looks forward to the sequel. Everyone will probably look forward to the next Captain America movie, the next Iron Man movie, and the next Thor movie. Well, probably not the next Thor movie. But we're not here to talk about comics. Yeah. Here's our publicist, our PR man. Zangief Emelianenko, a Russian PR man. Uh, He's soft-spoken, except if you give him a keyboard, and then he has a shit ton of things to say about Dirk and Tony Romo. You know who I'm talking about, SP. You know who I'm talking about. Tony Romo's number one. Anyway, back to the wrestling at hand. Okay, uh, what do we got? We got the uh, the first match. What was that? Uh, They're just they're putting on the feud, the Ring of Honor feud. Between CM Punk and Brian Danielson, who's gonna win that at the pay per view? Let's get into it. We're gonna this show last theme last week we had a theme. It was tag teams. This theme is gonna be predictions, and it doesn't just have to be pay per view predictions. This can be predictions for the rest of the year in wrestling, and who's gonna win? CM Punk, uh, Daniel Bryan. Uh, that's I think this is I think they're building, uh, you know, a Bret Hart Shawn Michaels type of feud with these two guys that could last their whole careers, which would be freaking awesome. I don't know if it's going to go to that level. Why would level. you think that? <laughs> uh, I just do, because they've, they've worked together over at ROH, and then they're coming over here, and they're still feuding. So I, I, We said predictions, not say something ridiculously overstated about wrestling. That, that's my prediction, is they are going to have a long feud. Like the Chernobyl Night Diaries, that looks really good. Dude, it's going to be awesome. So uh, so what, what I think on that feud is that uh, it's... It's basically going to be one of those things where we'll have a match this time, and we'll have another match at least, and then they'll probably, you know, put that fire out for a few months at least. I think they're testing the waters to see, you know, if the internet darlings or the smart marks or the Ring of Honor, people who know that Ring of Honor exists, because probably most people, even in the WWE audience, are like, Ring of what? What's that? Japanese wrestling? They don't know what it is. That's what I thought it was when I first heard about it. Exactly. I mean, that, that's what they try to do. They American strong style. That's how it tries to put itself over. Definitely worth the watch the if you've ever seen it. Because if if they if they put CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan and the buy rate is fucking Avengers big, you're gonna see it all the way to WrestleMania. But it's probably not gonna be that way. So you're probably gonna see it. Maybe you'll get two pay per views. You probably won't. They'll probably at least up until people. SummerSlam probably. I don't even know about that. They might just have this one match. I'm, I'm saying one or two matches. One or two. Because if they were going to stretch it, why would they have a match between the two of them just straight? Yeah, why would they do that? Maybe. Unless they're going to escalate it Well, maybe it, it, ends, it ends all crooked. Yeah, so. think they're going to escalate thread. it. They're going to escalate it old school, and then they'll get it in a cage, and then they'll have a Carson City Silver Dollar match, and then they'll have a First Blood match, and then they'll have a dildo, a double ended dildo on a pole match, and then they'll have a, a, a evening gown match. It'll be great. Yeah, and then they'll take photos of CM Punk smoking joints. Yeah. Like a like a bala. <laughs> Shoot, injecting steroids into his butt. He's taking heroin between his toes. <sighs> the winner gets to poke his girlfriend. So, so, after Over the Limit, the upcoming WWE pay-per-view, who is going to be have their hand raised high as the WWE champion, the flagship championship of the WWE today? At the end of Over the Limit? I, mm-hmm. It'll be CM Punk, I think. I predicted it's going to be uh, Daniel Bryan, and I think that's the reason why they didn't get him over on Sheamus, because I think they want to put that belt on him. And CM Punk's had it a while. Or maybe going to do some kind of gimmick, like a swerve, where they have to hold the belt up, and then it's a no, like you can say it's the undisputed WWE Championship, and then no one has the belt. And if you listen in previous shows, I have also already said this angle because it's a great angle. They do it all the time in UFC because someone gets injured and then they have a, a interim championship and then they have an undisputed championship. It makes for great TV. WWE watch UFC is great. So okay, what else we got? Oh, the women's wrestling. You love women's wrestling. It's so exciting. If two male performers wrestled and got a crowd reaction like they did tonight, they would be fired. Vince would walk out and he would fire Rhino, shoot style, for real. If the crowd reacted to two male performers, I think it's reverse sexism. Huh. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> uh, no comment on that. I mean, I, I don't really know. All I know is that uh, they're so. Here's the thing: starting with the Attitude Era, they were. Their, a lot of their sales were driven off of skin. You know, like having girls out there and 
scantily clad outfits and like, oh, everybody loves that. Yeah, but they weren't and giving them full I matches. I don't think that the wrestling universe <laughs> is still into, not that they're not into chicks. They just, you know, we have internet porn now that's easily accessible. They, and they now still, they're still people struggling. just don't give a shit when they're they still see struggling a girl like that. By, uh, from turning, like, I mean, they went backwards too. They took a step back by calling it the Diva Championship, I think. And then bringing out all these Barbie dolls. Yeah, they had they had the glow. I know Jed loves the glow. Yep, yeah, gorgeous ladies they of had, wrestling. They had legitimate, you know, probably former roller derby girls beating the tar out of one another, and then that that reached its apex of the 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 girl that looked like she was coming straight off American Gladiators, Alundra Blaze Medusa, just being like the all American athlete taking on crazy Japanese girls. What was her name? Sweaty Nedden on the Stranglemania? Yeah, I guess so. And then and then it kind of went down this dark alley of Sunny and Sable, and they're kind of stuck in that rut. Marlena. Still. Yeah, where it became like, oh, they're valets that put on matches with very large air quotes. I think on until them. they bring Karma out and have some somebody that's that's big and beastly and it's gonna dominate they, the division. Then there isn't a division. It don't even got to be uh, an Amazon to be able to, to do it. It's <coughs> there's there's certain aspects to the actual wrestling ability they have to go into too. Look at uh, Molly. Well, Holly. Lita, Lita was nice. Yeah, well, Lita was like the the Hardy Boys. Same era, so, same era. Uh, wrestling. You had Lita, you had Molly Holly, you had China, you had you had like all these different people that were Trish perfect. Stratus. Eh, I thought I think she Trish was Stratus overrated. is like the archetype for all their. Divas now. Yes. Or like they're kind of athletic and they look real pretty. They can sell swimsuits. She's even issue. better than what they have now. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's the thing. She's like what they mold. Like they want to make you Trish Stratus now. Like besides the people who break the mold, like Karma and then TNA ODB and to an extent Beth Phoenix, uh, the, the, everyone else is molded to be like that. Beth well, Phoenix is one of the wrestlers they're doing right. Well, I, I per- think that they, them taking the title off of her. For whatever reason, and giving it to the Bella, then the Bella losing it to the current champion, and then the Bella's getting fired, and now they're having a match, like a, a, a rubber match almost. It's just real peculiar booking, and that's half the reason There's why no are consistency. Like, uh, okay. The only consistency is that it's going to suck. And guess what? That's my prediction. The only consistency is that there's a women's match every Raw. And no one cares because that's when you go get nachos. And there's rarely a real tag match. And tag nachos. Team matches, nachos. And tag team matches, if they're done right, get the what? best reaction out of the crowd. Like tonight, right? You had the little comedy gimmick. You had uh, T- Santino doing his comedy spots. But then you had, like, oh, I'm serious, CM Punk. And it was great. They would be a pretty decent tag team. It'd be like, you know, old school vaudeville. We have the the lampoon, and you had the straight guy, and I mean CM Punk. He, maybe he's a great actor. Maybe he could play a straight guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, CM Punk's gay. He's not a drunk. It was a gay bar. He puts the straight and straight edge. <laughs> he went there to see friends. His friends. It's the straight and straight edge that makes him. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So, so what else is up? Anyway, no. Here's a prediction. Who do you think, Layla? Or Beth Phoenix. Oh, uh, I'm gonna for the say championship. Oh, we have to transport to a realm where I care. Okay. Yes. I think Beth <laughs> Phoenix get her belt so. back. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? I guess that's <laughs> where I'll go with that too. All right. What else do we got? Oh, the tag team match. We got we got Heckle and Jekyll, and uh, versus the Suntan Supermen. Who's gonna win? Let me let me let me let me uh, also add to that question. What would uh, r Truth and Kofi Kingston have to prove if they win, and what would they do to the Raw after? But if two heels win the championships <coughs> over these dominant physical specimens of wrestlers that are Kofi and r Truth, that's bragging rights, and that's good TV. And that's Vicky Rivera coming out and saying, excuse me, I'm so good at wrestling or being a manager or whatever they want to call her, not a manager, because that's, like, I guess it's like blood on WWE TV. You can't have managers anymore. Well, they're trying to with that black dude. Yeah, AW. Yeah. Yeah. 
They're, they got the sky box. They're, they're trying real hard though, because we've but seen the them. Is, see them in the, the hallway. Problem, the problem is, the the more and more they get closer to him, the farther and farther from the ring they get. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, That's it's the truth. Pretty soon they're gonna be at home watching wrestling with us. And they're like, gonna wait to be on Ash to Ash. Look how good this is. We're sitting on the couch watching wrestling. We're gonna wait have. We're gonna have. What's that? What's the girl's name? Which one? The girl that's that that uh, is the uh, the valet slash manager. Oh, I don't know, a primo. Name. But you know, she, she's gonna say something like, "Huh?" She's gonna be like, <laughs> "Nice truck, Poppy." <laughs> <laughs> like I know, huh? <laughs> Check out my earrings, Poppy. <laughs> These pants are stretchy. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, that little chula. I love that chula doll that you you're inventing. The chola, chola, the chola. Doll. Yeah, I gotta. Oh, I can't tell you my invention. You'll steal it. <laughs> no, tell them. Oh, I'm maybe not really somebody will steal it, it and then yeah. it'll vent. It'll then invent I can it. brag about it. But you gotta remember, you you have to promote when you promote the, the what's it called? The chola? chola doll. Chola doll. Yeah. Hold on, we gotta get our uh, our producer. All right, this is the producer. Coolest. How do you pronounce it? This is our Spanish speaking producer. Chola. Our, our Spanish announce team. How do you say it? It's Chola. Chola. Okay. Yeah. It's the same way. You're saying it right. Oh. I want to yeah. die at Chola. All right. Jared has a. It, Jared yeah, has a. Say it wrong. like Chola. Yeah, because I'm American and that's how you say stuff. I like cher. I like cherry no, Chola. Not. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no such thing. <laughs> so yeah, you got this doll. You pull the string on the back of it, and uh, it says different catchphrases like, "I know, huh." And then, like, you pull the string again, and it goes, nice truck, poppy. And it has the reversible, yeah, I got reversible, reversible hot pants. It's got reversible hot pants. So you have hot pink or neon green, yes. stretchy pants, uh-huh. right? And they're a little bit too small, so they fit just right. And the doll definitely will have no ass. And wait, no ass? No wait, ass. Wait, wait. It's Hispanic. Oh. It's Hispanic. Yeah. No, they, we all have asses. No, 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 no they don't. <laughs> well, in my family, we sure as hell do. What? Is Spain? Well, what maybe you're not. There, there's a lot. There, it's 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 not. There's I can a lot iron my clothes on the back if, of that if ass. If you have a, a Hispanic girl with no ass, send a picture and comment on. Leave it on. You leave it as a response to this this video because I want to see Hispanic girls with no ass. Look like a potato with toothpick legs. Aww. So are they fat or what? No, no. No, they have no ass. If they do, they're wearing one of those 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 uh, what are those underwear with the little pads in them? <laughs> the, the butt pads. <laughs> no, make it go from wow to pow. <laughs> <laughs> make it. It's called booty pop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, who's gonna win? The heels or the faces for the tag team title? What are we talking about again? We're talking about our truth and Kobe Kingston and mm, nice truck Poppy. Yeah. But... <laughs> All right. Here's Kobe right. Kingston, our truth versus. Jack Swagger and Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, for the need, tag team they champions. They need the tag belts. And they need to get rid of Vic Guerrero. Oh, I don't think that's gonna happen. They I, seem to I be don't. Very, I, they seem to be very infatuated with her, like she's Eddie Guerrero's wife. Well, my prediction is our truth and Kofi are gonna go over. The face will go over. Yeah, I think that's gonna happen too. I don't because because it just makes so much sense for them not to. So the WWE is just gonna drop the proverbial tag team ball. They're gonna drop. Zangy Familian Anko's four balls. Yeah, and that, uh, what's that, Kyle uh, Kissinger, the guy that talked about us? Who? That guy? Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? He can get his own goddamn YouTube channel if he that wants someone to talk about him. That guy sucks. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Dude, whatever. We're not going to make, we're not going to call out the con on this one. Uh, anyway. The con. Yeah. EBW suck. <laughs> Motherfuckers, you do right arm fucking suplexes. You suck. Learn how to wrestle. Anyway, um, what else, what other matches are there? Is there? Oh, uh, you had a, big, big Show big, versus Kane. No, 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 no. That was tonight. I'm talking about. Oh, who cares? Yeah, that was oh. bad. The only thing that the only thing that matters about that, Man, that is that afterwards they had this real long drawn out. Big Show wins uh, the Golden Globes. He's gonna win a Slammy for best acting. Man, that choke slam got, was so good. He got fired. John, John Ornias told yeah, you've seen it. He was but crying it, like a baby. Yeah, it was okay, it was great performance on the big show's part and and Lornias was good too. 
It just went on forever, and it was Everything. right at the nine o'clock hour. And you need to have exciting shit then. Everything to, was like every that hour. You need to have things that are that you can't. You, your hands are shaking. You're so excited you couldn't even pick up the remote if you even wanted to. Yeah, and I know it's the pot calling the kettle black, being long winded, blah blah blah. But really, WWE has good ideas and good good uh, good promos. They just five times longer than they need to be. So uh, anyway. This comes to a prediction I made. So if you if you watch the pay per view, and it happens, you heard it here, and once again, the armchair Booker Jonathan comes to the comes to the rescue of wrestling, oh, to the modern age of wrestling. There's one match that we got to predict for that pay per view. Hold on, bro. What I thought the WWE was football. Anyway, the Big Show's <laughs> fired, right? And he was humiliated. And you know what? I thought we were just he talking about that. No, hold on. I'm leading up to the the big prediction of the big gimmick. Shut up. I'm rolling my eyes right now. I don't care. I'm going to roll back my foreskin and give you a mushroom tattoo. Are we going to dock? Mm, no. <laughs> All your bases don't belong to us. <coughs> anyway. Oh. The big show's fired, right? He's He's been humiliated on TV by John Laurinaitis. Pretty much John Laurinaitis made him of his bitch. And the big show, he's going to look deep inside him, and he's going to realize that he has nothing left to lose, and he's going to unleash the monster, the giant. He's, he mentioned WCW, so he wants people to remember the giant, this choke slamming motherfucker. He picks up fucking Macho Man, and Macho Man's like, I'm a vet, you can't do this to me, and he slams his ass on the ground, he does it to Hogan, he makes everyone take that choke slam and make it look like fucking a million dollars. Okay, I think you're reading way too far into this that because all I thinking. see is big it's suck. wishful thinking. Hold on. Anyway, the big show is gonna he's gonna find something that's craven and perverse and he's gonna reach deep down inside. The kind of the kind of things that he wants he He's wants, a man at the end of his rope. Yeah, he not only is he at the end of his rope, his rope it, it's like attached to his last pubic hair and it's like about to break. And he's one step closer to the edge, and he's about to break. And he's going to have nothing left to lose. And he's, you know, and what, what's the... He's going to be looking looking for love in all the wrong places. Yeah. And, and he's anyway, going to dig it out, dig it deeper, just, just to just, throw it away. He's just going to be <laughs> despicable now. And then we'll, we'll cue you in on what happens later. So what other... Uh, It'll be his December. <laughs> and what other, uh, what, other, what other matches are there? Intercontinental match? Have they announced Well, that? you know, this is a segue. No, it's not. No, no, no. This is now. Who's I'm making it a segue. I see is Cody. Cody. Okay. Cody Roads. Roads. All right, so this is a segue, in my opinion, because... Uh, the segue's what? a scooter. Because <laughs> there is a match that needs to definitely be talked about and make sure we cover real well, is that... Big Johnny versus John Cena. That's the end. That's the main event. We're Whatever. Talk about There's no main hold event up, on the up. show. B b b what about the fatal four-way, all men, four men, hot, steamy, man-on-man -man action, the anal four-way between Alberto Del Rio, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, and the world heavyweight champion, Seaman. I mean, Seamus. <laughs> <laughs> Right. And this is the SmackDown main event, even though they don't have SmackDown Raw, distinct brands anymore. Who's going to walk away? I think Sheamus the retains. WWE World Heavyweight Champion, the big gold belt. Sheamus retains. That's boring. Sure, I'm sure it's boring. It's that, everything's boring with that belt. There's no reason to have that belt. You know who's not boring with that belt? Courtney. Zangief a million ago, you tell him. I will. Anyway. Yeah, but if he so had Sheamus it, he would is going to walk away with that? You think that? Yeah, Ric Flair would hawk that belt. Yeah, well, he put his big deposit down on the NWA Heavyweight Tank Championship. Need a ticket to Space Mountain! <laughs> he, he doesn't need a ticket. He's got a season pass. <laughs> Woo! Anyway. So Sheamus, so you ever everyone's in consensus, consensus that Sheamus is walking away. I think so, yeah. Belt. That's yeah. so boring. I don't see a reason for him not yeah. to. You know they're gonna give it to Orton. Orton, Orton's gonna get it. 
Uh, yeah. I've seen Orton with so many belts he doesn't deserve. But Orton shit. can get it, and then him and uh, him and uh, Sheamus can feud. They're gonna, and then maybe they can turn Orton to hell. Guess what? Did Sheamus go down there and uh, do commentary today? Yeah. Did Did Orton? No, yeah, well, that's where he needs to stay in the ring and off the mic because he sucks. And that's why they're going to keep the belt on Sheamus because he's the total package. All right. Sheamus Luger. So what about your broski on the Facebook prelim? Oh, uh, who cares? Kane, Kane, Zack Ryder, who's going to win? Ryder will go over on Kane. On Facebook? Yeah. You know this. What is it? Who gets the most <laughs> likes? Yeah, he's going to get the most likes. It's going to be like Kane defeats, or no, he's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be Zack Ryder defeats, defeats Kane, and it's going to say one person likes this, and it's going to say Russell, <laughs> Russell Noel likes this. <laughs> uh, oh, man. All right, that's day, it. The is there anything, is there any other matches? Certainly, there's a couple more. I don't like wrestling anymore. Funkasaurus. <laughs> yeah, Funkasaurus. He Funkasaurus probably won't have a match. Miz. He'll come out and tell Funkasaurus somebody. And Miz. Maybe Miz is going to go over to Funkasaurus. That'd be that'd be nice to see that. He's going to say, "And after I'm awesome, the Funkasaurus is going to be extinct." And he's going to drop the mic and do this, like Miz does. I know you can't see my face, but it's classic Miz. No, they're not it's really... like road rules. <laughs> Mike the Miz Mizanium. Um, they need to do something. I think they're underutilizing the Miz right now. He is one of their better roster. He is. Uh, he's a good heel. Um, hell, he ran the company for almost a year. What? Being the, he was the top dude for like almost yeah, a year, that's man. What nobody watched. I watched the hell out of that. It was nice. Yeah, but you have some kind of brain damage. You're gonna watch. <laughs> Battleship and I don't want to watch Battleship. My son does. You want to watch the new Underworld because you thought the third one was the best. It was. What other retarded things that he came out of his mouth? <laughs> he didn't like bridesmaids. Oh yeah, you don't. You don't like bridesmaids. You thought Cabin in the Woods was dumb. Crap, crap. Um, Your face is crap. You probably don't like Game of Thrones. Haven't seen it yet. Exactly. That's even worse. Um, well, yeah, there's so much stuff to watch. You can't see it all. Exactly. Hey, what does porn, wrestling, and Jed's mom have in common? I don't know. What do porn, wrestling, and Jed's mom have in common? Jed's all spanked it to him. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you like, if if uh, if you also share our good friend Jed's syndrome of having masturbated to wrestling, like this video. Any wrestling. Any any time period, back to like fifties golden era to tonight, you would have been like, "Yeah, Big Joe, you fucking cry," and and you were just finishing yourself off. Dory Funk makes me spunk. <laughs> but if if but give us a double like if Survivor Series nineteen ninety six really gets your juices flowing. <laughs> about King of the Ring. <sighs> I love King Royal the because every time a man goes over the top, I, I go one more time. <laughs> King of the Cockering. All right, so no other no other matches. All right, the big match, the match that they've been pushing. We got Johnny Ace <coughs> Laurinaitis. We got in the other corner, the blue corner, uh, John Cena, and the WWE board has up the ante with a memo, and you know some stationery tonight, and the main event, if. Johnny Ace Laurinaitis loses, he's fired. And if any WWE superstars interferes, they're fired. And if like if some what other what was the other thing? Um, pretty no, much no guest, no special guest referees. Yeah, there's uh no interference. Anybody yeah. interferes is fired. No pants. No pants. Yeah. Only a banana hammock. And reach arounds the two are them, mandatory. And they gotta wear a shirt. Reach arounds are mandatory. Yeah. So what they're doing is they're, they're going to say, there's no way, there's no way that pesky John Laurinaitis can weasel his way out of this one and and get over our superstar, the face of the company, John Cena, the the, the make a, he, what is he, a wish maker. He's a wish maker. He's a wish maker. He'll sneak up behind you when he's he uses his character. He's a fucking genie. He's a fucking genie. 
What? Oh, yeah, he's Aladdin. He's Aladdin's genie, Robin he, Williams. Is he riding a carpet? <laughs> Your mom's car. Anyway, there's no way that John Cena <laughs> is going to be foiled in his attempts <laughs> to give that dang Laurinaitis his comeuppance. He said come. <laughs> 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 Except anyone who paid close attention to this, this broadcast will know that the big show is at the end of his rope. He is no longer under the employ of WWE. Yeah, so he can't get fired. And the big show's gonna turn heel and get Johnny Ace Laurinaitis the win over John Cena. Or And people or, power rules or, or, and reign supreme. Or or here's the No, other. no, or No 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 no. Hold on. No. Don't give the me big a no show, or. The I'll big tell show you is what, gonna or. come in, screw John Cena, John Laurinaitis is gonna win, have bragging rights, and John Cena's gonna look like a punk. Hey, you know what kid hasn't tried to fake a note because you're gonna be late to school or missed a day and you weren't supposed to? I'll just type my own up and sign it like my mom made that, right? So maybe that's the swerve. Maybe that piece of paper is to get John Cena's head real big and John Laurinaitis is just fucking toying with him. Oh god, that's them. even worse. Yeah. God damn it. That please, wasn't real. Please, Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. No. Please say that's not the case. Uh, Please make mine where Big Show turns heel. And instead of giving little kids beanies, he takes their beanies. He scalps them. Yes, yeah, Big Show works better as a big, mean guy because that's, that's what he is. He's a big, mean wrestler. He needs, they need to put him over as a monster. Grow his hair back out for Put him over sake. as a monster. Probably, build up Super SummerSlam. John Cena, the Big Show, or even the Giant. It properly diagnoses and, Down Syndrome. No. And then John Cena is going to be like, I'm so strong! And he's going to body slam the giant, a la Hogan Andre. And there's going to be a fissure that opens up underneath the SummerSlam arena. And John Cena is going to have to save everyone with his backstroke. Because he's going to say, Donald Trump, put away your earthly possessions. And you need to grab onto your family. And if you don't have, if you don't have the, the energy brother... You could hop on the Hulkster's back, and I'll backstroke us all to safety. It's the greatest promo that's ever been cut in wrestling ever. Rolling my eyes again. Shut the fuck up, motherfucker. You know you marked out to that shit. You marked out to that shit more than the Ultimate Warrior. <sighs> the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a, I made a sphere. You are going to enter into my world <laughs> where nightmares are the best part of my day. Open exactly. <laughs> All right. Do we have a wrestler of the week this week? Um, I like to say uh, Ultimate Warrior. The Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> That's yeah. a wrestler. Did he of the ever week. even wrestle? Didn't need to. His promos put down people for the three count. His promos are good, but I really think that like Brick and Anchorman, you just. Looked at something in the room and said it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what about the any rumor mill stuff today? Uh, oh man! If, if if you don't keep up with the rumor mill, if this this is freaking awesome. Scott Steiner is going ape shit over. On this, Hulk is Hogan. A, this is not a rumor mill. This is well, like the gossip column. Well, that that is the gossip this column. This is a new yeah. thing. Okay, well, the then... gossip column. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. What was it? Well, people should check out the. the is he's, it on the Twitter? Are they having a Twitter war? Yeah, they're having a bad Who Twitter war. Who fucking it's, cares? It's, it's gnarly, though. You know have Scott Steiner war? is like three or four, and they are zero. We want Bish rumors about Hogan. matches. Oh, really? Scott rumors? Steiner can talk shit? Wow, no duh. We want rumors about matches, rumors about contracts, rumors about. It's slow. Naked photos. <laughs> it's slow. Is it slow? Yeah, there's nothing. Have big. you seen Hogan's porn yet? I saw a, I saw a picture of it. Well, did it get the job done? If you know what I mean. I don't know. It, I couldn't even. Did tell you if masturbate it was to it? I couldn't even tell if it was him. Were you just masturbating and looking at it? I was. Yeah. Well. That's I mean, what, what else do you do when you're on the computer looking at stuff? That's true. One day they're gonna invent a computer that masturbates your masturbates you, and you can type. Get the love glove. <laughs> the love glove. USB required. <laughs> USB 2.0. <laughs> Two ports required. <laughs> Windows XP or XP Service Pack Two required. 
Uh, yeah, the only thing on the rumor mill that I've seen so far is, you know, a SummerSlam match between Triple H and... Lesnar. And Lesnar, yeah. yeah. What about the uh, roster? Any any changes? The roster of the expert. The quintessential WWE roster expert, Jared. Our own Jared. What changes and updates to the WWE roster have you discovered in the same last old, week? Same old stuff. Have you, have, were you able to confirm... The rumor mills rumor that Goldust has been removed as a raw producer and then put down, put lowly down to a WWE alumni. I haven't done that yet. We did that like right after the show, and we were able to confirm that you were so bad at your job. I can't believe that you're the quintessential <laughs> WWE roster expert for the show. You dubbed him that though, so I don't just, don't put that all on him. You dubbed him. That's the joke, guys. <laughs> He's not very good at it, and it's funny. It's all right. Uh, all right. Okay, we got a wrestling. I week. unnight we you, got sir. The, we got no, no double night him. <laughs> put the pressure on him. It'll make him better. Uh. We got a rumor mill out of the way. We got a new we got a new segment called the Gossip Column. <laughs> I never I, 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 still, I, still Gossip Column. I still haven't got to pick my favorite wrestler. What was, dude, Wait, you know, what? what? Wrestler of the Week. We no had the Wrestler me. of the Week. It's the well, last, last week we all picked one. We said we're going to have one, and it's going to be the ultimate Oh, Warrior. then why did I get to pick it? Yeah, because why did you let him pick it? <laughs> because he said Vader. <laughs> he said Ultimate Warrior. He's picking good ones. Okay, we'll have... Jared, that's like taking Jared, him. What? That's the like rest? taking him to what? the porn store. He's gonna jerk off to the first DVD on the left when he walks in the door. He's not even gonna shop around. Oh, you said porn store. I thought you said Ford store. And I was like, you know, he's gonna go straight to the Rangers. <laughs> he's gonna be Texas Rangers, Ford Ranger. I think there's a, I think there's a certain talent out there that doesn't get all the love just yet. Maybe from the crowd, which undeniably is getting it. But the rest of the week needs to go to uh, Daniel Bryan. Never Daniel heard of him. Brian, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, all I can say to that is yes. Yes. Maybe. Uh, my rest of the week, I'm going to pick. Now, don't spoil it for me. There was a... If anyone who, who doesn't pay attention to WWE but still enjoys wrestling, uh, there was two not WWE pay-per-views this weekend. One was the TNA Sacrifice pay-per-view. <laughs> Which I have, have, you are the worst person to talk about TNA. That's a great snore, though. We need to, that is pretty good. We need to put that in our sound bank. Sample that. And sample that. Make a rap song about it. Yeah. This is how I sleep. This is how I sleep. Don't be creeping. I'll be sleeping. <laughs> oh, well, so what happened on these pay-per-views? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do I look like? Some guy who watches wrestling? It's uh, not yeah. WWE. I got one of them on my computer. It's a legitimate copy, I'm sure, uh, that, bit, that they gave me off the well, pirate bay. Be, being in the business that we are, I don't know the business. Uh, being in the business, the unemployed that we are, business. Yeah, unemployed. Yeah, being in the entertainment industry, we get copies of all that stuff. We get us directly. We get, we get copies. DVD screeners. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Anyway, it's you know it's gonna be like two or three hours. I haven't watched it, and I just finished downloading. I mean, uh, I, I just got it in the changes. mail this morning. And then, as far <laughs> as Ring of Honor, I guess their postal service is slow because I haven't yet seen it uploaded. I mean, it's not in the mail yet. Uh, but my That's rest good. of the week, even though I don't know how well he did, is gonna be Pro Wrestling's worst nightmare, Kevin Steen. I thought you were going to say Kevin Nash. Fuck Kevin Nash. That, that's what I picture when you say worst nightmare. Ugh. I'll jerk it to that. <laughs> <laughs> Big Daddy oh. Cool. Oh, that's enough, Kevin. We're this is a wrestling. This is a wrestling show. No talking about Kevin Nash. With that, we're going to sign off. With you, as always, for Ass to Ass, I'm Jonathan. And with me is the expert of the WWE roster. <laughs> Jared. And the creator and co-creator of the Rumor Mill and the <laughs> gossip column. Uh, I know, I'm huh? Jed. And also uh, our producer is hard at work producing next week's show. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you have listened to Aftershock's two awful spots. It's been May 14th, 2012, and 
Thanks for listening. See you later, Snatches. Bye-bye.